All right, everybody. This is Alicia or ABP, and I'm joined by Jack, my husband. And we have a special guest, Sean Mike. How's it going? And so Sean Mike, in case you didn't know, did the Orville rap. Living on the Orville. Mm-hmm. Yes. And what inspired you to create that? Well, so I was hit up by Orville Nation, PJ. Okay. I'm sure you guys know, you know, the Orville community is so connected. I'm sure you guys mm -hmm. know who that is. Um, and Tia from Tia and Telly, they said you, um, Maria from Tia and Telly, excuse me, they said you should make an Orville song. Um, they originally found my raps, one of my songs that I did on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Sure. Call it Twitter for just this interview, I guess. Um, but they found <laughs> one of my raps and they said, yo, this is really good. Like, we want to interview you, but you should make a song about the Orville. And the most recent season was gone at the time. It was on the air, Horizons. Um, and I was kind of like, it was like the perfect time to make a song because the season was just, it was such a phenomenal season, you yes. know? Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I was like really inspired to like write the song at the time. Mm -hmm. So... I forget what episode it was. It was the one where Instant Burke sacrificed herself. Yes. I forget what yes. the name of that episode is. Uh, let me see. I think it was Domino, maybe? Yes, Domino, it was Domino. Yeah. So I had just finished watching Domino, right? And, uh, you know, I, I knew exactly how I was going to start it because I found the beat. I went through I found the beat on YouTube. Uh, and I purchased the beat from the producer, VB Guy Heat. Shout out to him. But I, said, I heard the beat and I was like, man, this sounds perfect. It sounds sci fi. -y. I like the instruments that are associated with it. And I just finished that episode. That's why I start off the verse. I sacrificed my life like I'm missing Burke to spit a verse. I had just got done watching that episode. And I just kind of thought about the whole song's really kind of like a, it's a double entendre about mm -hmm. the Orville mm -hmm. and just my life. That's why it's called Living on the Orville. So, mm -hmm. I mean, to, to give you a really long answer for such a simple question. <laughs> <laughs> um, no problem. <laughs> uh, I was just really inspired at the time. I had the right people in my circle to motivate me, mm -hmm. and the show was going on, and I was just kind of really feeling the Orville vibe. Cool. That sounds good. So I put it. I went. I went ahead and put up the uh, the music video here. I figured we'd uh, give it a play through. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, so people see what we're talking about. So this is Sean Mike uh, living on the Orville. Can you hear it? Yep. yep. Feel like I'm living on the fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly. Feel like I'm living on the fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly. And as I'm living, I just zoom, 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 zoom up out of here. Hey, follow me and zoom, 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 zoom up out of here. Hey, 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 hey. I, I, I sacrificed my life like a missing bird to spare the verse. Never hurts the vision, living a life different dimension. Seek vengeance like Kelly Grace and boy, I ain't playing. It's over now. Call me Captain Mercer. This beat is krill and it's going down. Ride with me, die with me. That's what I need as my union grows. Boldly, I'm going when no one's never ever gone before. Zapping away the maid that's always climbing from cloud. This world is divided. One day your team can leave your alliance. And so in turn, I tell them, Lee, I ain't rolling with the fleet. Let them be. Just like Topa, I ain't different. I am me. I'm the captain of my vessel on the path to be successful. Come on in, it's time to take you for a ride. Feel like I'm living on the fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly. Feel like I'm living on the fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly. And as I'm living, I just zoom, 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 zoom up out of here. Hey, follow me and zoom, 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 zoom up out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I'm feeling real proud. I got the wheel now. Rolling the my own ship with Lieutenant Captain Commanders. A music marine following dreams. A winning team breaking in. And the sipping is in the smith the smithereen. Let me tell you who I got me bringing God into my life. My crew is my protection. They will guide me on this flight and they will guide me as I write. I know they always got my back. So let me introduce my posse on this plan of attack. Let's go. It's time to win. So come on in. Let's take a spin. And hey, let's begin this recitation. 
hand, just sing the hymn. <laughs> this dude's my dad, my bestest friend. That's where I've been. My pad of pins, my medicine, my doctor friend. We're rolling to my own ship with Lieutenant Captain Commanders. We bring a damage, invade the plan. This what gets I was handed. I'm learning it all. Looking at this game from afar. Now I'm an educated brother like Lieutenant Lamar. In every rhyme, my spit's important. I bring the pain like I'm bored. This pen, my pot like my Gordon. My brain like Isaac support. And been saving go to before this. Security, it's important. So every dollar's my toddler. Let's take this feel like I'm walking on the fly with me, come fly with me, come fly with me, come fly like I'm living on the fly with me, come fly with me, come fly with me, come fly. Phenomenal episode right there. I love that episode. Yes. Absolutely. Gorgeous visuals. Mm-hmm. Follow me and zoom, 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 zoom up out of here. Feel like I'm living on the Orville. Yeah, it's fun to go back and listen to that. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yes. I'm always working on new stuff, so it's kind of like I don't get the chance to really go back and listen to some of my older songs now. Nice. Tony Girl, shout out to her who did a good job with that video. I didn't even know it was being done. It's just oh, that was I woke good. Up, yeah, I was, I was gonna and I got the notification the... video. Boom. She did a beautiful job. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And uh, that's a, that's a really good flow. So, how important is flow to you, like in your in your music, like when you when you rap? Very important. Uh, extremely important because just the flow dictates just kind of how you ride the beat right so Mm -hmm. uh, I I just think it's really important it's I always say it's not about just rapping it's about how you say it like what you say the lyrics are important but it's about how you say it enunciation as you said Jack flow I, I think that's really important because I think flow helps make a song catchy like that it helps make it fun to rap to that's what makes rap cool is just like the different type of flows you can take to right you know approach a specific song yeah and uh by the way i see a lot of third season influence in, in the uh in the lyrics as well oh yeah um yeah yeah because uh you were talking about topa and how board you know beating like boards beating someone like bordis <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, that, that episode with topa where basically she got kidnapped and then she got beaten and and Mm-hmm. Kelly and Bordis came and you know the way Bordis blinded that guy from his you know got rid of both or his other eye he was already missing an eye yeah he got rid of his other eye and I was just like wow yeah <laughs> I yeah thought he was no gonna that kill him. I thought I was going to kill him yeah no no so did I and then yeah that the Topa yeah. lyric was definitely big on me because I'm not just like Topa, I ain't different. I am me. I live by that lyric so mm-hmm. much in life because I don't try to be like anybody else. You True. Know, I am me. I'm, I'm Sean Gardner. Me. That, that's who I am. Sean Mike. Makes- whatever you want to call me. Yeah. Sure. I'm makes nobody. sense. Yeah. I'm, I'm one blood. I'm one person. I have relation. I have family, but I am me. Of course. That's, that's all you can be. Yeah. I've yeah, told people I that too. I said I'm 50% of my mom, 50% of my dad, but I'm 100% me. So yeah, I totally get exactly. that one. We're all so ha- unique in our own way. I really do believe exactly. that. Exactly. Correct. So has music always been a, a major influence in your life by any chance? What made you guess that? <laughs> <Easy>. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I've, I've loved music ever since I was like in, in second grade. Uh, okay. you know, I, I fell in love with music by you know playing the recorder just in school. <laughs> yeah, and, nice. Uh, they gave you a recorder too. They gave us all recorders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I always say most people hated it, but I love the damn thing. And I actually, <laughs> true. Uh, sorry, I don't know if I can say that word on here. No, that's fine. That it's thing fine. was really lame. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, I really sure. love oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. And then I eventually uh, joined the elementary school band, and I just love playing music. I love listening to music. Um, and I always listen to a lot of hip hop on the side, right? You know, while nice. in the elementary school band. So I always tried rapping on the side. And, um, you know, eventually I met the right people who introduced me just kind of to people in the industry, learn about recording, you know, things like that. And I eventually grew and, uh, you know, I, I switched to hip hop. But music just overall, I it's just always been a big influence. Right now, I listen to everything. I would say there's we're all literally a nerd in some way in life. I'm a huge sure. nerd when it comes to music. I love every single <laughs> genre. Nice. I will dive in to anything. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what's the easiest part of this project for you? Specifically living on the Orville? Yes. When it was done and I have to do anything anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, no, the whole project. uh, 
it definitely wasn't easy. Um, just because I'm really, I'm pretty tough on myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to say, um, and especially with living on the Orville, uh, just the way I, I knew the benefits of that song. Mm-hmm. I felt like I had a big responsibility on my shoulders because I knew it was going to be marketed to Orville fans. And I didn't want to disappoint, to be honest. So I, I did feel that responsibility. Mm-hmm. So I really tackled living on the Orville, uh, you know, as best that I could uh, to, I really wanted to give a perfect song for people of the Orville, you know, fans for, you know, I wanted them to give them a song that they could listen to. Makes something sense. that they can yeah. enjoy sing. So <laughs> it wasn't easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy. I, I took it very seriously. Of course. And the shows that you did, it really does. I mean, some people can Thank come up with it and it's just not like, uh, they threw it together within five seconds. You, I could tell you, but the time and effort to do it. So good. Uh, what was the hardest part of the most challenging thing on this project for you? The most challenging part of the project? Mm-hmm. Being satisfied with it. Um, I'm so picky when it comes to my work. Okay. Um, it's, it's hard for me to just say I'm done. Um, also just the double entendres kind of at times, the writing process, just trying to connect everything. Um, when I was listening to the instrumental and writing the song, I had the show playing on repeat in the background just to kind of draw inspiration. That was everything Orville. So uh, so that kind of helped. But yeah, just kind of like knowing when I was ready to release it. Okay. I think that was the hardest part. How long did it take you to make it? How long did it take me to make it? You got me thinking now. <laughs> so season three was airing. I was writing and the way I, I recorded this specific song is I was going to one specific engineer. I didn't now I, rec- I record on myself, you know, I use my own equipment, but I was going okay. to an audio engineer. So you kind of have to calculate that too, of, you know, driving to the studio, recording, mm-hmm. coming back, listening to it, losing sleep because I didn't like how it sounded driving back to the studio. <laughs> recording. Uh, I would say the process with everything from when I started to the release date, best guess off the top of my head, guys, is five months. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. Probably listened to it over a thousand times (laughs) during the whole process. I'm sure. (laughs) So did any of the cast or crew reach out to you after you made this? Uh, Specifically reached out. No, but Seth McFarland did retweet it, which nice. that was really cool to see. Good. That's uh, good. I appreciate that. Shout out to him for that. Uh, just, to, I don't know, there's something about the fact that the creator of a show and who mm-hmm. has created so much other phenomenal shows saw the project that I worked on mm-hmm. and retweeted it. It was just a cool feeling. Uh, the producers reached out, actually. Okay. Tom. Producer Tom Constantine, yes, we yep. you know, he reached out, um, and uh, you know, and, uh, said that he liked the song, he appreciate it. He, he also retweeted it. Uh, and That's there's good. a few cast and crew to retweet it Very personally. Cool. Reach out, no, but they did show their appreciation on Twitter by retweeting it, and it was really it's, it's cool. That's wonderful, yeah. So, who are some of your music influences? Music influences, boy, that's the question of the hour. I could give you a whole essay on that <laughs> just because of the amount of genres I listen to. Fair enough. Um, musical influences. So you have to think about I can name so many artists, but I feel like the answer to that question changes every time. <laughs> Fair enough. Again, because of all the artists that I listen to, but just sure. to like think of like artists immediately, definitely logic. I don't know if you okay. guys how tapped you are into the rap yeah. industry, but logic. Um, okay. I grew up a really big fan of logic. Um, and uh, I always look at like, I always say that I learned to rap because of logic because I adapted some of his flow and then eventually crafted it into my own. Uh, there was another artist by the name of Hobson. He was kind of an underground artist. But uh, okay. he really inspired me um, just because I liked a lot of his songs growing up. Uh, and my very first concert 
<clears throat> with him first time i ever saw him he brought me up on stage to rap one of his verses with him oh and it was my very oh. first time ever on stage and i fell in love with being on stage ever since okay so that's great that kind of like help like spread my wings to be a little more more comfortable like sean you you shouldn't really have stage fright at all because the very first time you rapped on stage with, was with one of your favorite artists in right. front of like 500 600 people so you know there's no really no need to get nervous so that kind of gave me that like, confidence but um yeah hobson uh lately taylor swift been listening okay. to her. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, i know you weren't expecting that one uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I think she the way that taylor is able to uh like switch like her different style she's like a different person every single album Mm -hmm. She started off as a country singer. Now she's like pop, but uh, like some of her most recent songs, like in 2020 fol folklore. I don't know if you've heard that album. That album mm -hmm. is incredible. Like okay. the, it's very it's alternative sounding. So um, her Beethoven, Mozart. We can get the classical. Um, okay, I love the Strokes. I love. I, I just love music. I'm telling y'all, I can listen to everything. Hey. But that's good. that's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what advice do you have for those that want to create similar projects like you did? Have fun. Have fun. Uh, don't worry about metrics. Don't use things like likes, comments, and social media to say that that's the reason. Don't let that depend on if your product is good or not because mm -hmm. we're living. It's a flooded market, so you just right. got to have fun with it. Enjoy it. I always say do something, one thing every single day to... Uh, just level up, level up. I mean, it doesn't necessarily just have to be music. It could be really anything, but whatever you want to do, just do something every single day. Uh, so, I mean, with music, I, I love playing the piano. I've been, you know, really trying to kind of master that, uh, learn another instrument. Plus it really helps with music theory, but main thing, have fun. As long as you have fun and you learn, I, it is important to learn the business aspect if you do want to grow. I mm -hmm. want to throw that in there. You can't just say have it is. I want to throw that in there because I feel like there's so many people that say, you know, have fun, you know, but it, if you want, it's your business, right? It's your business, right? Yep. Uh, just like any a YouTuber, you're, you're running a business. You want to promote yourself to get more subscribers. So there's nothing wrong with learning the X's and O's and that with that mm -hmm. and have fun, just balance it. But that yeah. would be my advice. There's, there's a lot of people I know where, who are, who are um, you know, they 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 started off doing it for the art, but then they learned really quickly that you need to understand how to do your own business too, because yes. you got to learn how to negotiate. You that you need to learn how to budget. You know, so yes, yeah. so important. Both of those things you said: negotiate, budget, all of that is important, and really almost any field too, Jack. Almost any single field, I feel like entrepreneurship. Very true. Really. Is there anybody that you want to collaborate with that you haven't yet? So many people. Um, I kind of, when I first started rapping, I, one of the biggest things I did was uh, I only did kind of songs by myself. And recently I started spreading my wings and collaborating just with local artists in my town here. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, even to like name the big boys, I would love to rap with artists like Logic, Hobson. Uh, really anybody <laughs> almost okay. anybody that i you know that i feel like that number one that inspired me because mm -hmm. who doesn't want to make a song with an artist that inspires you or inspired you to become who you were and number two just from the simple fact that i think we could make awesome art together and that's the most important thing at the end of the day is making phenomenal artwork for the world to hear that's why we love mm -hmm. music makes sense how would you describe your style of rapping and creativity then? Alternative. Okay. Very different. And I know it. Uh, as I mentioned, I listen to a lot of different genres and I kind of I could try to take little things out of each genre mm -hmm. and apply it to my own. Okay. Apply it to myself. Uh, I look at the way every single genre markets themselves. I watch stage etiquette, things like that. Uh, but yeah, that would be my answer for that one. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, how do you want to be remembered in the Orville community? How do I want to be remembered in the Orville community? 
Uh, somebody who kind of helped keep just the magic of the Orville alive. Uh, I love inspiring people. That's kind of one of my the main things. It's a lot of with the projects that I'm working on now. A lot of my songs are kind of about like inspiration and grinding and getting better and working toward your goals. So uh, number one, the thing with the song living on the Orville, I hope I can inspire other creatives outside of just music too, just whatever to just make mm -hmm. songs out of not even just the Orville, but films that inspire you or TV shows, like use the arts to inspire your creativity. Um, number one, and just a lover of uh, the lore and the show. And really somebody hope I'm hope to, you know, I hope the song when I'm hoping and not just, I'm not just saying this because oh, I want the song to blow up or something like that. Right, Obviously right, right. I do. I would love the song. I'm not going to sit here and say I wouldn't, <laughs> but um, I hope if they announce the new season, you know, that's going to help the song kind of get more listened and people are going to listen to it, become more attached to it. And I right. just hope that I can get people to, if they're feeling down or something, or they mm -hmm. just need a piece of Orville in their life that they can listen to living on the Orville and it'll take it'll take them to the show. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, do you have any new projects that you're working on right now? You mentioned that you touched on it briefly. Yeah. So right now, I'm working on an EP. It's titled "Winning All Year," and I'm releasing the songs as singles individually. Just okay. to kind of, it's kind of the way the industry is right now. It's just, in my opinion, the way to do it. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just basically the whole project is about motivation working hard going toward your goals and you know getting after yourself in multiple ways in different aspects of life um like i said i like to make music to inspire people mm -hmm. um just kind of the way I, I like to stay motivated because i mean when you're not motivated i don't know life kind of sucks when you don't have nothing to go toward i feel like that's when life starts to get kind of down so, right uh, Makes sense. But yeah winning all year it's gonna be let's see five tracks, maybe a bonus track I might throw in there, but okay. That's mm -hmm. what I'm working out. And then the first two songs are out now. Uh, winning all year. I released that in January. There's gonna be a music video coming out with that. So uh, featuring this Ooh. talent art artist in Michigan called her name is Jay Plantana. And then the second track that I dropped, it's called No I Won't Go. And that one's basically about um <clears throat> toxic friend groups avoiding. Mm. Mm. So okay, it's how many of, albums do you have? Oh, uh, the so anxiety sucks is the only album that I have. It's um, okay. Pandemic album dropped in April of twenty twenty. Okay. Um, it's hard to believe it's been that long. Wow, yeah, just yeah. one. Okay. And this will be my second project technically, but it's a EP. And then I've released a few just singles here and there. Mm hmm. So where can we find your projects if we want to download them or give them a listen to? Yeah, so you can find my projects on all streaming platforms. And really, if you want to just kind of be, because here's the thing, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you can go on there. But it's a, I always say it's such a flooded market. It's a cluster. So if you really want to get tapped into what I'm working on, the best way to do it is to go to SeanMike517.com. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Uh, do you plan on releasing any albums publicly? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, no, there's a few ideas I have. I've been thinking of. I feel like in my mind, I'm like two years ahead. Got some projects and ideas, different concepts I'm working on. I'm always thinking. Sounds good. Yeah. And my last oral question is, do you have a favorite character? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a few. But instant burke was my favorite from the new season i okay. thought she was well written mm -hmm. i thought her, the fact that she died sucked but the way that she did it and just the growth of her character because i hated her in yeah being like a lot of fans yeah her <laughs> character growth was great yeah and and in real life she's actually very pleasant i, I got to meet her and she's like this so we we saw the screening and we we saw instant burke and she just seemed yeah. like this angry person but then out comes this little ball of happiness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's, she's very sweet. Yeah, Ann Winters, her name, right? She, um, yeah, Ann Winters. Yeah, she was on um, 
she's a great actress too. She was on Thirteen Reasons Why, which is a completely different kind of show, and she did good on that too. So I wasn't surprised, but yeah, probably probably her. As far as like out throughout the whole season, I got I love good storylines again. So, um, but I don't know. It's tough. It's either between Doctor Finn, just because okay. of storyline well written again. <laughs> yes. I love Bordis because I love dry sense of humor. And boy, does Bordis have dry <laughs> sense of humor. Yes. <laughs> Who are your guys' favorites? Ed for me. Ed? I would say Gordon or Lamar. Gordon or Lamar? Yeah. Those are both good choices. Gordon's good because he's in Lamar, too, because they bring the comedy to the show. That's true. And that's kind of what helps. The Orville is such a good show, right? Because it's serious. But it has its good funny moments. And when yeah, you have yeah. Lamar and Ed, or um, Ed too sometimes too, but Gordon and Lamar, when you have characters like that, just I think it just really helps. Just <laughs> yes. Balance. Yes. And, and, and the fact that they can be funny, but then every so often there's an episode where they're absolutely serious. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And going back to love and music too, I, I I gotta say the production on the music for the Orville is amazing, incredible. Yes, the soundtrack is wonderful. It, all yeah. three of them so far. Oh, we I have the them. albums. Do you? Do you have? Are yeah. they out on vinyl? So one of them is, and the other one is on CD only, and the other one's digital. Gotcha. I might have to get that on vinyl. Yeah, the first Whatever one is one for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the first season. It's awesome. Yeah, definitely have to get that. But yeah, music is so important in films. That's true. Mm -hmm. the Orville does just, just a good job at it. Yes, yeah, the unspoken character. Yes. Yeah. But thank you, Sean. Of course. Yeah, no, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me on. It was fun uh, chatting it up with you guys. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And we'll let you know when we publish this. And thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. You guys take care. All right, All right you. you too. Hey, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. No problem. Very good. All right. Bye-bye.